Hi, this is Joseph Tan here from GoodMonday.com. Today we're going to talk about the signs of being average. What does it take to be a Mr. or Miss Joe Average? The path to mediocrity or of being average actually starts with a focus on weakness. Focusing on weakness seems to be the natural things to do. In fact, focusing on weakness is usually called uh, what are your areas for improvement? Sounds familiar? But not many realize that the removal on weakness just brings us back to ground zero. It doesn't bring you back to being world class. So the removal of weakness does not constitute excellence. It just constitutes what it is, the elimination of weakness, bringing you back to ground zero. This is what we call the path of most resistance. It takes a lot of effort to overcome your weakness to get back to ground zero. However, there's a better path and that is in focusing on your strengths rather than on your weakness. Working with your, with your strengths means going with the flow, going with the flow in terms of how you naturally think, how you naturally feel and how you naturally perform. That's going the way of your strengths. In other words, you are focusing on your path of least resistance. Here then is the signs of being average. Now, a person becomes average when he gives equal attention to resolving weakness and focusing on strengths. So what happens is focusing on weakness and strengths, weakness and strengths, weakness and strengths. So what do you do? You meander around the range of mediocrity and you never really fly. I challenge you to take a good look at your job description, at the list of responsibility and daily tasks that you have. Now, how many of the daily task routines of your responsibility falls within the path of least resistance or how many fall within the path of most resistance? If most of your job responsibility falls within the path of least resistance, congratulations, you are on your way to career growth and personal expansion. But if most of your job description is within the path of most resistance, then you have a feeling of being held back most of the time and you're not reaching your strengths potential. The truth is this, you grow most in your area of strengths. Consider having this diagram in mind when you face your next performance appraisal and it could make all the difference between growth and frustration. Think about it. This is Joseph Tan here from goodmonday.com. Thanks for watching.